All right, guys, we're back here at JCB, one of my favorite golf courses in the world. And you know what? I'm excited about this video. A couple of weeks ago, you might have seen me take on a brand new challenge where I played at the Marriott Worsley Park and had the luxury of having 10 mulligans. I got to take 10 shots again. And as I was playing that round of golf, it got me thinking, I shot in the mid 60s that round, it was all right. What could a tour pro shoot with 10 mulligans? Well, today we are going to find out. Brian Ruffles. You've seen Ryan when I played at Isleworth uh, earlier this year. Unbelievable venue, an unbelievable golfer. Coincidentally, Ryan was in the country. I said, why don't you come up? Let's shoot a cool video. And when I pitched the idea to you, what was your th first thoughts? I've never thought about it. I think it was my first thoughts. I've never thought about, take, I, I can't tell you the last time I took a mulligan in, in any round. Um, so to have 10, it's gonna be interesting. I, I'm not sure what to expect. Like, I don't know if it'll help me a lot. If I play great, it might not help me much at all. Who knows? So it's, it's gonna be interesting for me too. I'm excited to find out. You know, it'd be a massive flex if you go and shoot like a 63 and only take five mulligans yeah. or something. <laughs> I would love nothing more than you to be knocking on the door of a score that starts with a number five. I'd love that. To be getting into a 59 with 10 mulligans. So it's gonna be interesting. This is a golf course you've not played before. It's yep. one of my favorite courses. We've been here loads on the channel before. It's a tough challenge yep. here at JCB. Um, but I'm gonna caddy for you. I'm gonna give you some guidance round. Right. You've done it a full tour routine before you've stepped here on the first tee. Yep, trained for three hours and all the way up straight here. And <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we've been on the driving range. Short game area. I'm fighting. I'm putting. I got no excuses today. Let's go. Let's go low. All right. Let's go low. Is there any strategy at all between these ten mulligans? You're going to save any for real terrible shots, or do you think there are going to be more on missed opportunities? And I'd like to use them on terrible shots, but in the same breath, I'd like to not hit terrible shots. So, um, no, no strategy at all. I haven't seen the course ever, and it looks like a course that you'd probably like to see once or twice before you play it. So I guess that's where my mulligans kind of come in and they even things out. The hope and Rick shows me around pretty well. And um, yeah, no strategy. I'm just gonna wait till I need them, I guess. Hopefully I don't. <laughs> so off these tees today, it's around about 7,000 yards, par 72. Good luck, Ryan. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so first hole, it's a cracker. You've got water to carry here, which I've become no issue for you. A bunker playing about 260 off this tee, yeah. and a little bit of room after. The idea, the perfect line is there, level with the bunker. You so it looks the, like a three wood for me. I think three wood's perfect three wood off just, this tee. Yeah. Right, come on then, Ryan. Let's, Let's do, do it. Let's do it, I'm excited. Let's see what we got. Absolutely perfect. I'm not gonna use one here, I don't think. <laughs> I'm in a lovely spot today, I'm not playing. I'm just gonna caddy for this month. Bag's a bit heavy though. It is actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ryan, you could not have put it in a more perfect spot. I mean, Let's keep it's... going like that. You tell me where to go all day, I'll hit it there. <laughs> couldn't have placed it in a better spot, really couldn't have done. The course is looking magnificent. And actually, it's only a few weeks out from JCB Championship 2023. Some of the biggest names in senior golf are going to be here in a few weeks. I'm playing in the Pro, I'm excited about it. If you want to check out more information, link in the description. You can also get tickets to come and watch. It's definitely worth it to this place, it's mega. Right, how far have you got? I got 129 yards. So for me, I hit 52, 130. So should be, by my calculations, pretty good. A little bit too far right. It catches that bank. Pretty average there. I'm not sure that's worth a mulligan though, is it? That's a up to you. I kind of want one, but that's early to be burning one on. <laughs> I, I can't take one there. No? <laughs> I think a wedge, to, a wedge to 25 feet, I can't take one there. i got to say 10 though. No, I'll say I'll also, make that Also, on the mulligan, if Ryan chooses to take a mulligan, that's the ball he then has to use. Yep. <laughs> it's not worth it there. It can't be worth it there. <laughs> Quite the caddy I have. I've got a nice dirty golf ball. He showed up with no towel. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just here to watch, Ryan, <laughs> to be honest with you. Also, I have, as we were driving in, Ryan saw the 17th hole here at 
at JCV. You know the 17th hole, the par three, 250 yards, island green, downhill. I would definitely just keep a couple of mulligans in the back pocket for the 17th. <laughs> That's for sure. Right, come on then, let's start. Let's start. Alrighty. Are we mean to go on? We box some of these early doors, it'd be exciting. Go a bit. Oh, not quite hard enough. Bang on line. To do anything there, easy par, we'll save them up. Just look at that book again. I, I would like to see you in this little pocket here. Done. So about 250-ish yards, yeah. it looks like. Okay, that'll be about 80 yards, yeah. So yeah. Perfect. Well, you told me to do it, so. You know, it's a little bit like at the moment, it's like playing a <laughs> video game. And I feel like I need to be holding the controller and just going, yeah, go there. Spin it in the air and just like get it, get it to land with the right spin. <laughs> go there, Ryan, and boom. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, I got 130 yards, almost identical to the last hole, but I think different wind. I'm going to hit a little pitching wedge on this one. R right's your friend. Pin eye right is I mean, the holes, the holes, my friends, are 10 million. Okay, go for it. I like it. I like <laughs> this. Maybe I need to be a little bit more aggressive, actually. Well, I'm not playing. I. I I'm not, not going to play super safe today when I got ten in my pocket. And it's not a four-day tournament. Yeah, right? correct. Okay. Like, let's start breaking the flags. Out. Now, if if we're playing a ten, like a four-day tournament, yeah, right, it's definitely better. But we'll see. It could okay. come back to bite me. But no, no. You got ten shots. Let's yep. break the flags. Let's get let's get aggressive. Look good if it spins a bit left. It's pretty nice. Fifteen feet or so. I really like that. See, now here's where it gets a little interesting. I know, it's these type of putts yeah. where I think you might. Like, I really want to hold the first one because I don't want to have to think about taking a mulligan here. Yes! Don't need it. <laughs> yes! Don't need it. In a weird way as well, it feels like a free birdie that. Yeah, I know. Because you didn't need to use well, the mulligan. And I'm sure there's going to be like some people that are way better than me with stats today that watch this video, that I'm gonna take a mulligan, something like that, they'd be like, oh no, statistically that was a terrible spot to take a mulligan, <laughs> this and that. Cause I don't know, I'm just going by guess at the moment, but I'm just glad I don't, I don't wanna to have to take one on a 10 footer. That was really good. 272 into the rough on the last one that we can see. Right, I'm gonna try and ended up just over the left side of that last bunker we can see there. And I think that's, yeah. does that sound like the plan? Sounds good. Oh, Sid. Softly. Looks all right. It's weird they're going to be fairway. But I can get much more aggressive yet. One. First mulligan taken. Let's hope it's worth it. So this now is in play. It's been committed, gone for. Yeah, you can, you, honestly. You yeah, can. no, I just overcut that. I think when you play a hole for the first time and you're just smacking it over the unknown, probably pretty easy to do that. So yeah, no, I'd like to go much further left with this one. I think that's good. That's really, really, really good. I think yep. used well there. Nice. I think we've used one effectively, which is good. Right, second shot into this par five after a perfectly taken mulligan. Uh, how far have you got, bud? Uh, 228, uh, probably four iron. Uh, so do I have a little bit of room left or what's you going on up here? tons of room left. Right, okay, so yeah, probably for me here, I'd say I'm gonna hit a straighter shot kind of up over the corner. If it drops right, fantastic. But I'm probably not trying to get too greedy to that flag. So I can make it, I think I can make it somewhat straightforward birdie if I can kind of keep it up the left-hand side. So give myself a shot at eagle. Oh, I batted it though. Go. Now I don't know because I could still get to the front. I think if you went for that one again. I'd like to hit the exact same shot, just not catch it behind the golf ball. Would be <laughs> a great, a great, uh, great start to things. But well, it was actually quite tricky here. A little trickier than maybe I originally thought. Into that bank, let it take down the slope. Yeah. This is looking really nice. Go a bit more. See, it just got down to the right a little early. Oh, that was a terrible read. Now I got that decision, eh? You 
can't par this par five, can you? Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to. Give it back. Oh, I got to use two mulligans on this one hole. Two mulligans on the on one. All right. But now, you know I think, it now I think statistically people are going to tell me that this isn't smart because I don't know what the average make range from like ten foot is, but I think I can do it. I got the read now. Oh, I haven't oh, done the same thing. No. Done the same thing. That see now I feel like I've wasted two on the one hole. You have. Yeah, because I've really made par are. with two mulligans. So. Oh yeah, you've wasted them big time. Oh, that's disappointing. Um, that was just, just, that was just, just terrible putts. Let's anyway, just move, move on. on. <laughs> <laughs> you see that dark tree, like the dark trunk, like straight away. Yeah. It's pretty prominent, kind of throw. Exactly that. Is that fine there? Exactly, exactly that. It's perfect. Yeah. Oh no. Might be all right though. No. Do I need one there? Well, in this situation, there's a couple of times, I, you can take a provisional. Provisional mulligan. mulligan. Okay. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, it'll be fine, that one. That's perfect. A little too far right, but that'll be fine. Everything. Slopes hard right to right. Yeah. So if I can get it out the right a little bit, it should yeah. just kind of help me out. Definitely. Okay. I guess my biggest thing here is if this ball's gonna jump or not. That's my... Uh, that's going to be the only thing that makes this shot kind of a little tricky. How can you tell? Normally if there's grass behind the ball, so if you see like, but not thick grass, so if it's kind of wispy like that, you won't be able to get the club on the ball directly, but the speed will continue through the grass pretty easy. So you're not going to get that friction which creates the spin, that's when the ball goes miles. If it's a thick lie, it'll just come out dead, um, and then obviously there's nothing behind it, it just comes out normal. So I'm going to say this is going to jump a little bit. Okay. 155 yards, I'm still taking a 160 club. I'm gonna try and hit it soft and kind of be a little protective of that jump, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, anything falling just right of that flag is gonna, yeah. gonna get closer and closer to the hole. Cool. Sit. If it hits the bank, it should be good. Need to sit a little bit. Yeah, it just did jump on me. I think landing it on is your best option. The lie's okay at best, it's got a little tough behind it. Um, well, I guess if Rick says land it on, we're landing it on, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that tough right behind it. I'm gonna take a mulligan here. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, there's just that little tough behind the ball and I was a bit worried about it. There we go. Yeah, great speed. That's a bit better. Great speed. All right, about five foot. Should be a little left to right. Yeah. Still one on the par. Three mulligans taken. Not as easy as I thought this was going to be. <laughs> I get a bad lie here a little bit, and then I'm just like, oh, well, I got mulligan, so I'll try and play the flop anyway. Flub it. Now I've got a really tough chip. Get that one up and down just. If it's any consolation, Therefore, somewhat challenging first holes. Like yeah. Make you think. Yeah, I just, I wouldn't have ended up here had I known the course. 225, it says it plays 20 yards downhill though, so it's playing 205. I'm kind of thinking it's not one that I can be super aggressive with. Oh, that is one of the greatest golf shots I've ever seen in my life. I just <laughs> need to play how I would. And if I need a mulligan, I take a mulligan. I think I'm thinking about the mulligans before I play. <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! I honestly thought... That was a bit short? Yeah. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so did I. Well done, Just mate. got enough. Right now, you're two under with a par five coming up. Two under, par five coming up, seven mulligans in hand. I think you could really take it aggressively over the middle of the bunker. All these things sound so good in theory, don't they? They do. Make it happen. Get down. I don't mind it. I have to get down. Really? Foot in the rough? Yeah. Not too bad. It's hard, like I said, to take it over there when you don't know the hole. Correct. Yeah. Like, I felt very nice when you said those trees. I was kind of like, oh, I don't mind it out there a little yeah. bit. 
Talk to me here, Rick. What do we got up there? How far is it? Uh, I got about 215 yards of the pin, but it plays 235. It says 188 over that bunker playing like 202 or something. This is actually tricky here, this lie. At, at slightly right is no danger. I'm gonna go four. I'm gonna open up the face a little bit of a four iron. Kind of feel like almost like a little flop. Yeah. Oh no, that's come that's out. That's actually all right. No, no it's come, come out, out hot. Really good. Yeah, it's actually fine. How many yards of green have you got to work with? Five and four of them are down slope. So yeah, there's that. If I can land it on that down slope, it should have enough momentum that it scoots through. I got to be far enough left too. Oh, oh that I'll is take that. phenomenal. For a minute, I thought it got stuck. I was like, no. Yeah. I take thought that. He, that had just got stuck no, in that last take that, bit of though. rough. <laughs> sometimes I feel like going. you're on my side, sometimes I feel like you're not. <laughs> Depends what you do, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a really good birdie. These five footers, I reckon, have more pressure with a mulligan. Because you don't want to retake them. You don't. You know what, though? So you really want to hole them. Six holes in. Three under. Three under par. It's a little sloppy to start, but we're still three under. It's an interesting hole, this. There's a, the dog legs to the right. How far is it, It's 470. Big hole. Um, but obviously, it's playing downhill. I'd actually like to see you flying it just straight over those traps. That wants to keep cutting. That's, keep going. That's pretty incredible, that shot. Now, tell you what, can I hit a provisional mulligan? Of can. I want a provisional mulligan here. Because that's too far right. I, like, it's obviously way further right than I've intended to hit that. But I think I might have hit it so bad that I got away with it. I think that one should be. Jeez. I don't know, though. Okay, so we found the first one, so no mulligan needed. It's not perfect. It's in the rough, the fescue kind of longer rough here on the side of the previous hole. Bad angle. How far angle. you got, Ryan? Yeah, bad angle. We got 120, um, 115 with the downhill. Should be downwind as well. I'm just going to try and hit a lob wedge hard. Is it there? Didn't quite carry on. To be honest, that angle we were coming in from on that right side was terrible with this. That's possibly what protects it from going down that other fairway. Yeah. It's hard, this caddy in life. So I was going to come here today, have a nice little relaxing walk around the golf course, watch Ryan play some good golf. So yeah, I'll, I'll carry for you. I'll carry your bag, no big deal. There's no way that, it, anyway. <laughs> I just thought that was just gonna come hammering right to left. It's so funny as golfers, I think, too much to a fault, we're perfectionist. So I think that's why when you have those mulligans and stuff, it makes you, every bad shot you hit, you're like, give me, a, yeah. give me another ball, even yeah, though it's exactly. not str strategically probably what you wanna do. Yeah, nicely done. Were you running there? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Never had a Lucas Aid before. Yeah, good. Good. Oh, good. Right, Ryan, everyone knows what I think of the JCV sausage rolls. I want to know what you think of them, okay? Yeah. I want, you, I want you to give me a, a review. I'm, I'm on a really strict diet at the moment, so I'm definitely not having one. Is that where you, is that where you just had two before the video? Started? <laughs> what do you think? Give me, give it, I want, every, I want to know everything. It's a good look. Yeah. It's nice and thick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nice little char on the end. I'm not a sausage roll expert, but here we go. <laughs> Pretty bloody good. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Yeah. 
You could have a few of these, can you? you yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> can you give it a rating? Even though I know you're not a sausage, not everyone can be a sausage roll connoisseur, I get that. And maybe that's why. Am I rating it based on all the sausage rolls I've ever had? Yeah, and on a zero to 10 basis. Zero rating. to 10 basis. I think if the best sausage roll I've ever had is a nine and a half, I'm gonna say this is a, a nine, just because I'm not gonna let the English beat the Australian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair news, fair news. A solid nine from Ryan. A few people mistook us for twins last time in yeah, the video. I felt a bit offended by that. Yeah, I know I didn't. I was <laughs> I told my wife and <laughs> she, <laughs> she nearly <laughs> she nearly choked. She nearly went, what the hell? She spat out a tear and went, what? <laughs> and I said I'm filming today with, with uh, the Aussie lad and my wife went, Oh yeah, Ryan. I'm like, how do you remember his name? <laughs> right. Um, seven holes done, three on the par. Yeah. Not horrendous. Not horrendous, bit sloppy. I think this game's getting the better of me, like playing with my head. I just need to play like I'm playing my first ball. If I need a mulligan, I need a mulligan. I'm thinking too far into the game, like, ooh, should I take one here? I can do this, just hit the shots and then we'll go. I like it. Okay, eighth hole, par four, 421 yards, the crack of this, Ryan. Um, the fairway kind of narrows down there, but I think you'll hit it far enough not to need to worry. Rick's cutting for me, but I think secretly that 66 that he shot, he wants that because he made me sit down for a sauce, couple sausage rolls and get nice and tight. I think he's, uh, <laughs> I think there's a little subplot going on here. What, me? <laughs> oh, that's a very stiff swing. Missed him right today, haven't I? What do you think? It's not great. I just know if you hit, if you bomb one, it's like a 90 yard little pitch. Say less. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, spot on. Yeah, we'll take that. Good use of a mulligan. Come on, another birdie, front nine. If I get another one before the ninth, I think we're Tracking for something decent. Not heroic, but decent. Hit it when Trying. Hit it when you then get good. Oh, that's gonna be really nice. What a great shot. I think so. What a really good shot. Thank you. Let's pass that, mate. Happy with that. What a pin. I thought you said you organized some I easier I had... pins today. This is the first nasty one to be fair. That is it? nasty, that one though. I like in the look of the putt. Should just go a little right and then straighten up a little bit on yeah. top. I like that. Oh, it did Very what you straight said. And straightened. I thought straightened, but I didn't think it would start to go left. I can't take a mulligan there. No, you can't. No. Just, you're not going to. You take it four. You can have 10 attempts at that. and Yeah. Take a four, three yeah. under, through eight. Four's well, not too bad there. With a really, really, a really nice par three coming up. What do you think of this one, Ryan? That's pretty spectacular. And he's got quite an interesting pin for us. It's like <laughs> that's a hole in one pin. If I've I, it's like a it. super easy pin if you hit it in the right spot, and then a super hard pin if you hit it anywhere else. It kind of looks like, like if you get it right, this could feed in real close and go in nearly. And if you just miss it, it kind of eases off. So that's a good pin. That, that's the that's the easiest pin we're gonna have. So what are you gonna hit? I got 52 degrees. Says it's playing 115 yards. This is 130 club, or it should be like just under 130 club. Wind feels mostly off the left, little in. If I hit this nice, should just land a bit past and then hopefully spin back at it. So it, it goes as well. That yeah, slope left to right. This way, yeah. Yeah, you just got to get that section right. On a crosswind, it should be. Uh, it's a tricky little shot, but we got it. Oh, be phenomenal! Go Do in. it. Go in. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, I thought we had that. Oh, I thought we had that one. That looked really close. That looked really close. I Mulligan, do it again, do it again. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I thought I did it, and I kind of called it before we did it, too. Oh, but. man. That's a nice putt, though, right? That's a lovely putt. Straight you up the hill. You couldn't have left yourself a better putt. I like that. That looked really good. Look at that. <laughs> so it's finished there. It's pitched. I mean, you would have seen it from the drone footage. It pitched. There. It's a good effort to have missed, to be honest. 
Wow, wouldn't have been far off. Come on, to get the four under par for the front nine. Yes! Got to take advantage of those. Yes, well done, mate. Really good. Thank you. Impressive. Front nine, four under par, with how many more going to take in the end? Four. four. So I've got six to go, nine holes. Oh, so wow. I've got some in my pocket, which is nice. So maybe play a little bit more aggressive. I think we really start to. Yeah, because I've got a couple in the bank. I felt like I used more than I should have on that nine, and I only used four, so. Yeah, I think we can go full, full steam ahead now. Yeah. Tenth hole, par five, 610 yards from this this particular team we're playing off today. Aggression mode activated, yeah, yeah? I think so. Let's get it going with the driver, eh? Oh, yes. Too far left? No, perfect. Huh? If you say so. We need, to, we need to get some footage of Rick pretending he knows what he's doing. 239 from here. 239? Why have you got your shoe off? Are you going to pace that one for me? Okay, so where my mass is good. 239 plus 26 is... Go on. 263. 265. 265. 265. 265 to the front. It's, it's a raised green. Okay. Uh, you just got to bash it down there. Get as close as you can and deal with it. Okay, so I'll just hit my three wood down there yeah. and see what happens. Yeah. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. You got your big high draw, that, and it's pretty nice. That was a joke. So I don't know about distance, but that's a good looking shot. So, Right, not bad. Not bad at all. We were concerned about where it was finishing. Yeah, when I started to walk up here, I saw Fescue just over the back, and we were kind of hitting a bit of a mystery number. Um, it concerned me, but now that we're here, we're in a good spot. Really good spot. Right. Yeah, just over the back, uphill. A little bit of tough behind it, so it should just come out maybe a little dead and then tumble. I got 56 in my hand. Um, this is one. I'm gonna try and hold this one. Of course, you are. Yeah, this is a this is a makeable chip. So go on, bud. Knock it in for eagle. Yep. Great. Oh, it's lovely speed. Shit. Well, tiny bit fast. Just ran out a little bit more. Left it off the club. We'll make that. Keep no need. It. No need for a mulligan there. Okay. These are ones where we don't want to be using mulligans. No. Nice. I Very didn't, good. Didn't want a mulligan there. No, I know. I really <laughs> didn't want you to either. Four, five under. Five under through ten. Through ten. Oh, hello. Starting to heat up a little bit. Six mulligans left to play with. Yep. As the crow flies straight towards the pin, which is pretty much on the middle of that slope of the trees. It's probably it's a probably about 310 carry. So I think a cut-up driver is fine. So this is if you need to see the planner. Oh right, there's a creek. Yeah, there's that stream. So this is potentially one of the dumbest plays in golf, but we do it. You'd never hit this driver in a million years, yeah. but cool. we're here to make shoot 59. Yeah. We're not here to make friends. We're yeah. here to lay up. Is that good? Might just be a fraction too far right. You reckon? I reckon it's good. He gets the thumbs up. He gets a thumbs up from the cameraman <laughs> on the corner. <laughs> we are all hell holding our breath. Because uh, I hit it and you said too far right, but I just had one last look at the flag and Is I was like, good? that's a pretty good line. Right, perfect. And I just spun it out a little, which I thought for distance should be good. So it's at least going to be up there. Hold on top. After an aggressive tee shot, we've been rewarded. Just off yeah. the front of the green, but love a little chip into this. Yeah, it's a now. tricky little chip, but it's way better than if I had to pitch from over there. So, yeah, it's kind of hard right to left, down, up, then over. So it's a nice looking pitch, though. Be incredible. Be Do incredible. It. Do it. Yes! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Eagle, we're back on now. Oh my we god. We are back on. Let's go get that one. Wow, Eagle. Oh, that looked good for a while too. The moment I hit it, I was like, hang on. I guess it was driver after all. Sheesh! <laughs> what a chip and no mulligans used there either. No mulligans. I'm saving them up. Eagle, seven under 
Pa. Through what, 11? Through 11. I needed that. Holy All right, we're smoke. on now. Holy smoke. And we another, back and another back. drivable par four to come. Let's do it. What a last hole. Actually, no, I'm going to go to the draw. Sorry. Uh, Ryan, I've moved on. Rick hasn't. You're Ryan's right. living on the 12th. I'm still living on the 11th right now. Um, okay. You know what's exciting? This is another very gettable par four. You get yeah. two back to back. I mean, not that last hole is really gettable apart from the really long driver shot. This is very gettable. 250 yards, slightly downhill, yes. pins very much at the front. It's like 270 and it plays about 20 downhill. Um, pins at the front, look at a bit of water out the right. It takes a really good shot again, um, but if it looks like, having never played it, if you hit the right shot up the left a little bit, this could, you could get this, sneak this up there pretty close. So. Just a side note, Ryan is three un, uh, sorry, four under through the last three holes with no mulligans taken. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> you birded nine, you birded ten, you eagled eleven. Yeah, right. No mulligans. <laughs> See, so I'm playing better when I don't you use are. it. <laughs> I used two mulligans so on one par five and couldn't birdie it. So, moral of the story, let's not bother with mulligans. No, I'm joking. He's got six to go. So, I, go, go as aggressive as you yeah. feel. I think I'm going to hit a draw here. I think I need the extra carry out of this club. Um, just a little too far for like a stock or a little fade. So, that's what we're going to go with. Um, let's do it. Now that good. hits the bank. Could be good. It could be really good. Go, go, go! Right on the front edge. That's. We'll take that. Yeah. I'm not mulligan there. No, no chance. That's going to be a look at eagle. Maybe a two butt birdie. Just, just missed it like a fraction. I don't know if you can hear the sound, the difference in like that versus a really good iron shot. But I reckon if I hit that right out of the middle, I had another five in it and it might have been perfect. But. I didn't need much more to just keep feeding at it. A little bit firmer yeah. ground and that, that had it. What do we got? 15, just 15-ish feet for eagle, so. Putting or chipping? Yeah, we'll be putting that. If Ryan goes back to back eagle here, something we have never seen on the channel before. Holy smoke. Break, break, break. Ah, Tricky lovely speed. Part. Yeah, tricky little putt. I can't. Very tricky. I don't think I can really be taking mulligans there. It'd be nice if I got to the uh, last so, hole and I have like a ten footer and I got six mulligans in the bag or something. But <laughs> so birdie, birdie, eagle birdie takes you to eight under par. Yeah, it was looking pretty kind of mid there for it a did. while, but we picked up the pace and par five next. The chance to continue that on. That bunker, you can see. Just to the right, that bunker's perfect. And and, that, and you can absolutely go at it. Doesn't absolutely offend me. No, if you put one down there at like 340 in the middle Down of the middle, length, it won't offend that you. That doesn't offend me. Okay, good. Okay. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Yeah. I was worried about case, that. Yeah. <laughs> just in case you were thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we got that out of the way. All right. So if you can do that, it'd be great. No worries, mate. Anything else? Uh, just hit it as hard as you possibly want. Okay. You got six mulligans, you're eight under par. I mean, should be phenomenal. So he told me to hit it. If that's not good, I, that's I'm actually going to get me. you to hit a provisional mulligan. I actually want, I want you to go slightly more left than that. You said just right of that bunker. Yeah, just right. Right edge. I hit it one meter right instead of half a meter right of it. Provisional mulligan. <laughs> that might be wet. What? If that's wet, I need to go to hit a different club. That's the best try of it today. <laughs> now that's perfect. Aren't they the same? No. Huge difference. <laughs> <laughs> I've got high expectations of you now. <laughs> I'm just so happy with that first one and I got forced to hit a provisional mulligan. <laughs> I was absolutely I stoked with that. But isn't it a hazard too? And? Oh, provisional mulligan, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget I'm not hitting actual provisional, it's a provisional mulligan, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, so we got down here. You can see, I just wanted to show everybody the consistency of Mr. Ruffles. Two driver shots, 
I mean, it's a bit front to back this version, but later. You said hit the second one a little left of the first, so <laughs> there you go. Is that your first, yeah? Yeah, that's my first, yeah. Okay. No good, you said this one, hit a provisional. <laughs> no, no, let's not have any tiffs. If it's a little bit short, it's a fairly simple chip and port. I think I want to get aggressive though. I want to try and float a three wood in there and see if I can't hit something close. Okay. I got mulligans in the bank. 100%. Hold your head. Hold. It's close to a good shot, to be honest. Perfect distance, oh. just right. I mean, I don't know if that's mulligan worthy. I'd rather take mulligans, I think, on the chip. I think, yeah. Because the thing is, if you take a mulligan now, you have to play it. Yeah, and it, that's not that bad. That's you just know, green side, just in a little bowl. That, that's an eight out of 10. Yeah. Where your next shot. Who knows? Like there's a low percentage 10, shot. Yeah. But you could easily get a six, five Yeah, I don't think 10. it's worth it there. I'd really I, rather left that left of the green, but. I would fancy your chances more at chipping. Yeah. Well, I'd rather get take two mulligans there and try and hit one to within a foot or Agreed. hole it. Agreed. Than try and hit one from 250 again. Look at this, we're thinking now. Great shot though. No, I think I'm better when I'm not thinking, to be honest, <laughs> about the mulligans. <laughs> I feel like you use this one sometimes. The old putter from off the green. Who told you that? Uh, I've played with you at Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> I use putter whenever I can, my friend. It's what we look, obviously you want to hold it. Yeah, I'd like 30, to hold this. 30 is where we need to be. 30 would be nice. I'd say if I can get this within six or seven feet, I won't be taking a mulligan, that's for sure. Oh, that got a terrible bounce off, off that thing. Well, it's an easy decision, you stay there. Yep. <laughs> That just got it. That was looking nice, I thought, until it hit that. I'm not sure if the camera got the bounce there, but so, I just have to go just inside that. First mulligan taken for a long time since so, the eight. So this is the fifth mulligan I've taken. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just that one hit this thing. That little ditch or longer grass. So same shot. Just we're gonna go just inside that. Breaks. It's a little bit annoying because I think the first one was looking pretty nice until it hit that, but I don't think I can take a mulligan there. I'd rather. I'd yeah, let's hold that putt. Yeah, I think you'll hold it. Yes, baby. Well done. I'm glad you didn't. One, one need mulligan. mulligan. One mulligan burned, but I keep the streak alive, so I think we're quite happy all in all. Yeah. Nine under. Yeah. We are on serious. What do we got? 13? We played 13. Yeah, we are on serious 59 watch right We now. are now. I did, it wasn't looking like that for it a bit. It wasn't. No, but I we've know. had a little run here that's got us back in contention. So. I was nearly going to sub myself in. Were oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't have been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> no one would have noticed, you know, because we kind of look like the same people anyway, to be honest. I've actually gotten a few DMs already that have been saying that. <laughs> 14th hole, par three. 220 yards back into the wind. Strong hole. Yeah, it's what do you reckon? Just clung on to the back of the green. The hard part about this game is if I choose to take the mulligan there from 220 and I hit a shot that's a little bit worse than this and maybe ends up in the bunker left or that bunker there, then it's a real waste. Yeah. True. Um, it's not like it, you this get is not to a choose. terrible spot. This is not like I'm in the fescue and I got to hack something out. This is just a putt from the edge of the green. So. And to be honest, you could still hold this. Yeah, you 100%. Know, stranger things have happened. Yeah. Stay up. It's on a beautiful line. Stay up. Oh, just too far left. Nice. Well done for not needing to waste one. Right. It's a good three. I think you know that's what? not the end of the world there. We've got four holes left to play. Ryan, nine under par to shoot a 59. We've got to birdie the last four holes. Tricky holes I've heard, but it feels like we're going to have them this one downwind at least. So is it, well, this is the hardest hole on the course. And if it's downwind, it's much easier. Like I said, this could be useful to have a couple of mulligans in store here. If I can get a good drive away and give myself something shorter, I think I can do do something with it. So, 15th hole, par four, hardest hole on the golf course. Off these tees, 470 yards, but downwind. Um, 254 to the front of that bunker. 294 to cover. 294 to carry. So just straight on the over left. the top of them. Okay, come on. Four birdies in the last four holes to shoot a 59. Let's do it. 
I've hammered that. Carry everything. Yeah, it has. Oh my. That's Gosh. Perfect. What are you doing? Why have you got a bone yet? I don't know, just had it warmed up. <laughs> I just want to cool the face down. That was good there. That was real good there. <laughs> that was really good there. Wow, that was hammered. Right, 122 yards after a ridiculously 350 yard drive straight down the middle of the fairway. Ryan is feeling pumped. We have to make birdie. Okay, we have to. You got five mulligans. Okay. We have to make birdie. Let's do it. Oh, be the number. Get over that shelf. Brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. Good player, isn't he? Really good player. I've been very impressed with him. I was impressed with him at Isleworth. I think many of you watching who have not, maybe if you've not seen that video, go and check it out after this. He's just a proper golfer. Like he, there's no, in my eyes, there's no weakness in his game. Um, and it seems to me when he gets that kind of bit between his teeth, which you see in a lot of good players, they want to, they want to show off. I felt that's the stage he's at at the moment. He wants to shoot 59. He wants to bird his last four holes. And I think he will. And I really do think he will. It's a little shorter than it looked. Yeah, I thought it was a touch closer. Yeah. And actually, that one would have been good to know because I may have taken a mulligan. We can go back. I fancy holding this putt. It's a nice looking putt, which is why I don't hate it. But as in like... If I start to go statistical, from 125 yards, I think... I average something like 14 or 15 feet, and this is maybe 17 feet. Now let's just hold this, forget the rest. I've done better when I've pretended that I didn't even have mulligans. So. Exactly, he's got to make another birdie. Yeah. I told you I like the look of that putt. I need to pretend, forget the mulligans, just play golf. Hardest hole on the course, yeah? This guy, hey, this guy. <laughs> What's mad? We've played six holes on the back nine. Ryan is six under on the back nine with only one mulligan taken. 59 watch is absolutely on. It looks like try and cover in the No, you can 100% cover. I mean, yeah, it's not that easy, but yes, I can definitely 100%. try. 100%. 300, 380 yards. It was 278 to cover that bunker. Okay. So I've kind of got to, I think, just go straight over the top of the bunker. Oh no, straight at the green. Go. I've hit that so good though. I think we get provisional mulligan because I, I think that could be there. Yeah, because I absolutely nailed that. I tried to hit a big loopy draw and I just hit a nice straight ball. That is. Outrageous. With where that is, I find it hard to believe the first one's not good. Yeah, you find it. That's nearly gone through the fairway on that line. So we found the first one. There was absolutely no problems whatsoever. It was just because, one, it was quite an aggressive line. Two, I shouldn't do, but I kind of not underestimated how far Ryan hit it, but I've never known anyone to hit it maybe so far. So I didn't know if it was going to clear this trouble, but it. It has done comfortably, and we are in absolutely, we're actually in a beautiful spot here. Yeah. I actually don't mind it in that little bit of rough as well. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, the rough, it's, it's thin enough. It doesn't really matter. Um, I think from here, I probably just got to land something into that slope. Yeah. With a bit of speed, should take a little bit of speed off. I'm actually going to go have a look. I would. We've got five mulligans left to play with. Two and a half holes left to play. We, ha we just have to, I think at this point, we have to take mulligans as well until we bird the hole. Unless we run out of mulligans. Go in. Has it gone in? Oh. Be close, right? <laughs> it's about a foot away. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, I love that one. I thought it was good. It lipped out. Did it really? It lipped out. Oh my God. It that would have helped us a bit. You, want a, you probably want a mulligan there, don't you? <laughs> you can do better than that. It lipped out for an eagle. What? We couldn't see it from down there, but obviously the top camera did. Lit out for an eagle. Oh, f God. Can you believe that? <laughs> that is what? Well. I'm not just cutting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here watching the video. I'm liking it. I'm subscribing to this video right away. Right. To get 
to 11 under par. Do you want me to line it up? Or? Just knock it in. I'm just going to listen to it drop. Have you ever seen anything <laughs> like it? That was nice. That should have been 12 under par too. He's seven under for the back nine with only one mulligan taken. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. Wow. So here we are. Welcome. Holy. To the 17th hole. That looks hard. What do you think? That is, and I'm glad I got five in the bank. That is, that's wild. That is a... That's a spectacular looking hole and a spectacularly hard looking hole. How good is that? Yeah, that is, uh, this is going to take a golf shot. It's 200 and, well, off the plate, it's 255 yards. Obviously, it's downhill. Yeah. But that is an island green. You have to yeah. get a bridge to get to the green. Yeah, there's just a, that's a long way. That flag <laughs> looks small from up here. Yeah, that pins back right. There's lots of little kind of sections this green. Um, this is getting really exciting. 11 under par, two holes left to play. The good thing is, again, five mulligans left in your back pocket. Yeah. I, I know mean, you probably, in some regards, I feel like you're in such a zone at the moment. The mulligans are not as important. Yeah, the mulligans have probably not done yet much for me. But, I mean, it'd be nice to hit this green. Um, I can guarantee you if I hit this green that I'm not taking a mulligan. Would okay. you? Yeah, because I want you to shoot 59. <laughs> We've got two holes to go. You have to make birdie. You have to yeah, birdie. that's true. You make have, if you'd have eagled the last, I'd but you've done that. We can have, if I can get this decently close, we can have a few putts that's at it. Thinking, and I think yeah. that's the... If you can get it in that section of the green, that, that back right section, then it, it's much flatter. You're very neat. If you're not in the right section, <laughs> game over. <laughs> right, come on, Ryan. Five iron into this green. Be good. Oh, where did that go? It's, t it's literally two yards short of the water, over the water. Yeah, right, okay. Right, Mulligan been taken. Go one extra club. It's actually good to have it on this hole because that's, it's so hard to predict from this high up, so the crosswind and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, Mulligan. Four iron. God, that's side. close. That's the club. It's in bunker. that bunker. I've got three to go. Three to go. This is why we <laughs> saved him though, right? This is this is the hole. This is exactly why we saved him. For this very hole. Just have just have a field day up here at the top. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> just having a practice session up here on 17. I mean it is the hardest part about this hole is the ball is in the air for so long on a crosswind. So the hardest part is being able to control that, what the wind's going to do to it. Oh, I've done it again. I'm burning through them now. Hold your head. Oh, it's coming back a tiny bit. Nah. Well, give me one. I guess go one more. I guess I could try and hold a bunker shot, but we're just going to keep hitting them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this could make or break this round right what? here. God, they're all like two yards too far right. I guess you got one more. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> they're all in the exact, you could put a towel over all of those. There it is. Oh, come on. Just go in the hole. Be good. I think that's phenomenal. Be good. Go in the hole. Oh, just short. Take that one. Yeah, I think he's... Oh, dear. God, it looks good. No, you can't <laughs> take it. I'm just annoyed it took me so many. I wanted, like, birdie this and then have, like, four goes added up the last. So what have you got left? i got one mulligan left. Right? Yeah. Right, come on, pal. We've got to box this. Ideally, to shoot 59, I needed to probably hit that on the green on my first or second attempt. Yes. Would have been 
super helpful. Really difficult, so I much mean, elevation. This basically needs to go in, I think, to be a realistic chance for 59. If I can make this and then have one mulligan in the bag coming up the last, play it pretty aggressive, I think that's the, uh, that's the route to 59. Did it leave it in? Yeah, I think so. Come on, pal. Have faith, you've been good on the greens all day. Oh. Stay there. I mean... The thing is, if you don't birdie this, I can't see you eagling the last. Yeah. I mean, I've got a double breaker up two slopes. It's not my best look, but I guess what are the options? But then again, but I guess if we're going for straight score, I guess we're pretty focused on 59 right now. If we're going for straight score, I would say take it up the last, make sure you make birdie, but... But are you comfortable with 60? <laughs> pretty comfy with 60, <laughs> but I mean, it's a bit, a bit of a double-edged sword. If you're, if you're all right with 60, then fine. Come on, we can always eagle the last. So you want to try and hold one on the last? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good par. I hit five shots for good par. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. What a hole. Like, if they put that pin deep left there. Oh, mate. It's a really, really good hole. Have you enjoyed the course? Beautiful, mate. Absolutely gorgeous. I think this is like I told you if you're walking up one of the holes. This would be fantastic prep for going to play in the United States. Yeah. Tough, long golf course. Um, that, yeah, so it's got the same grass as the US, and you don't get much of that over here, so. No. It's a good challenge and it's visually like quite intimidating. It's, it's quite forgiving, but it's visually intimidating. A lot of blind tee shots, holes like this. Um, I've made it look a little easier today, but... <laughs> you um, played really good. Yeah. Right, one more hole to go. Eagle required for a 59. Long shot, but still a shot. It is a shot. Can I have a look at your little greens book? You don't need to. Well, I'd still like to. See. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. There's the hole. You've basically got a 334. Where is that? So that is, see the big tree? Like the bushy one? Yeah, the, big, yeah, the biggest tall tree on the in the oh, Looks like in like a fair bit. What about the V in the trees? Is that all right? Uh, slightly right of that. That yeah. with a cut is good. Okay. That absolutely nuked is fine. Yeah. It's good? Yeah, like outrageously good. Okay, here we are, final fairway. Ryan's hit an unbelievable tee shot, one of the greatest I've ever seen. How far have you got? 128 playing 134. 134 yards, got one mulligan remaining. He holds out here, it's a 59. Come on baby, let's do it, let's do it. What are you hitting? Got little pitching wedge, it's kind of an in-between number but I figure this might just hop forward a little bit. So if I'm a chance of holding it, it's probably with this club, so. Ah, it's turned too much. That's disappointing. So it's a lovely golf shot. Yeah, just on that big right to left slope, I got a little aggressive and pulled it, so. Final mulligan taken. I would have liked to have done a bit better there, but all right. So I know that slope's gonna take it a ton. The slope that I'm standing on. So I've got to get this started a bit outright, or it's no good. This is it from now. No more mulligans, no more advantage. This ball is now in play as well. This is really nice. This is really nice. It's got to be good, doesn't it? We can't see the bottom of the hole. I don't think it's in, but it's a nice shot. Yeah, I feel like if it was in, we would the cameraman have, would be going mental. Couldn't have hold 30. <laughs> he's, he's not. We've come up short. No 59. Video over, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I lose the 59? The fourth hole. That par five. Agreed. Oh, is it third? Fourth? Uh, third. Third hole. Par five. Two mulligans. Didn't make birdie from the middle of the fairway. That's... Uh, After that, you've not really made a mistake. No, I took... I took two mulligans, or I took a mulligan off the tee, I took a mulligan on the putt, didn't convert either, 
or it didn't use either effectively. Had I done that, I only need a birdie here. Things are a bit different. But if it just chips in on, and then the almost chipping on 16. Yeah, it's big too. I mean, that would have been huge. Yeah, because realistically, birdieing 17 is going to be hard. Either um, way, let's go and knock that in for 60. Let's knock it in for 60. It's a very, very, very good effort. Yeah. So it pitched here, you'd have seen it on camera. Zip down, very, very, very good effort. Incredible effort. Feel a bit deflated now though. <laughs> Not with that. Knock this in for a 60. Oh. Bit too oh. Great roll. 61. Don't be deflated, you. 11 under par. Ryan, amazing. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me again. Be sure to follow Ryan on all of his social media. Um, just a baller. Yeah. It, yeah. Was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, like Rick said, I'm going to be doing a little bit of behind the scenes of kind of what it looks like to be a, a tour pro on the Challenge Tour this year too. So if you want to follow along and see how I'm going, log in there as well. But And also, uh, Ryan did a little behind the scenes video of this video, which will be coming out on Ryan's channel. I'll link it in the description below. Well done, mate. I Thanks think, for having I think, me. What a place. What a day. I fancy that challenge again. I'd like to do it again. At Isleworth. Let's do it. Next time I'm over. Next time you're over, let's do it at Isleworth. My home course. I think, I think we're a good chance of doing that 59. <laughs> I think we keep doing it until I shoot 59. I do. Yeah. I do. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Yeah.